The spring game reminded all of us how much uh, talent Ohio State has, especially on the offensive side of the ball, and how much new talent the Buckeyes have, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Welcome to the Voice of College Football. Go Bucks! All right, breaking down the top five newcomers to the Ohio State football team for 2021, according to Athlon. So I'm taking these names from Athlon's, and uh, then I would like for you to comment down below, and it is definitely offensive heavy. And after what we saw in the spring game, we could certainly add a couple names to the list. I'm thinking two wide receivers in particular. All right, obviously the quarterback situation is C.J. Stroud, Kyle McCord, and Jack Miller. Okay, it appears as though Stroud has a slight advantage, but this is going to go deep into August, just about everybody believes. But in regards to the newcomers, Kyle McCord is the standout, no question about that. Third-rated quarterback in the country coming out of high school, second-rated player in all the state of Pennsylvania, number 27 overall out of St. Joseph's in Philadelphia. He looked really good at the spring game for the most part, and he is reportedly to have the strongest arm in the quarterback room. He's got the biggest upside, the biggest ceiling, and the arm to show it, and he certainly fired it off for 50 or 55 yards right out of the gate in the spring game at 6'3", 215, coming out of high school with that kind of stature and uh, looking very good. Jack Miller, of course, in play as well, but he's on campus already uh, having redshirted last season. Okay, let's get to the running back position with uh, Trey Sermon gone, who ran like a beast, like a monster, like a man possessed down the stretch against Northwestern and Clemson. Master Teague filled in capably against Alabama in the national championship game. So it's a plethora of running backs, established running backs, some of them in the backfield, Teague being, of course, the guy. But Steel Chambers, Marcus Crowley, uh, Mayan Williams looked impressive, albeit 10 carries. But this running back uh, room, certainly with an infusion of talent with the top two backs in all of high school football coming to Columbus and Travion Henderson and also Evan Pryor. What was impressive about those two in the spring game? Because without live tackling, how can you really rate running backs? Well, they're both smooth coming out of the backfield, catching the football. There was one drop in the mix from, uh, I believe, Pryor. But other than that, they caught 14 passes in the spring game between the two of them. Uh, the blocking and pass pro may be an issue, as it typically is with young running backs. But Trevion Henderson, the number one running back in the nation, a second-rated player out of Virginia, number 22 overall, according to what we typically use here, the 247 Sports Composite. Wow. Again, 5'11", 195, he could become a star. 2,400 yards rushing in his final uh, season in high school with, I got to check the notes here, 45 touchdowns, 45 touchdowns, 12 yards per carry. That's just insane. He also scored five touchdowns as a receiver. Okay, Evan Pryor, second-rated running back, fourth-rated player in North Carolina, number 82 overall at 5'10", 190. Uh, 1,100 plus yards rushing his final seasons, about seven yards per carry and 19 touchdowns. Okay. Prior Henderson, will they work into the mix? We would think, uh, if not to start the season, that they'll be pushing for carries and time by midseason. All right. Jack Sawyer on the defensive side. And Buckeye fans, I would think that you would really want to hear some names that are going to be impact players on the defensive side in terms of newcomers, especially on that back seven. But we got Jack Sawyer, the most obvious for you. And he showed out at the spring game as well. It's difficult to tell because there are no tackles, no sacks per se, no no real uh, sacks because it's just a, uh, it's a flag football game. It's a tap football game. But Jack Sawyer, what he showed in the spring game, was the explosiveness, beating his man time and time again, coming off the edge, showing uh, multiple moves. Third-rated player at defensive end, number four in the country. So defensive end, obviously loaded with three of the top four players in the country. And uh, just a phenomenal talent, the number one-rated player in the Buckeyes state. All right, the quarterbacks, the running backs, and Sawyer. 
Anybody else, wink, wink, Marvin Harrison, Emeka Igbuka, that showed out uh, during uh, spring play and, of course, uh, the spring game uh, was the showcase. Uh, Leave your comments down below right here at the Voice of College Football, Ohio State. Please check out the videos that we supply each and every week in our Buckeyes live show right here on this channel every Wednesday, 2 o'clock Eastern Time. Every Wednesday at 2 o'clock Eastern Time, we've got the best in Ohio State football talk with Steve Hellwagon from Bucknuts, 247 Sports, Tony Gerdeman, Buckeye Scoop, Kevin Noon from Buckeye Grove on Rivals, talking Ohio State football with me and with you again every Wednesday at 2 Eastern. Join us live.